Jail Is, copyright 1985 by Stephen Donaldson, third draft. This work is dedicated to Mike in memoriam. Jail Is the County Lockup, the Big City Mega Zoo, the Gladiator School for Juveniles, the Road Gang, the State Farm, the Penitentiary Big House. Jail is 8 million Americans a year, 3 quarters of a million at any one time. Jail is a wildly shifting kaleidoscope of moments and feelings, most widely shared, but some not so common. Jail is a song of many voices, here interwoven. Chapter 1. Jail is disorientation. Jail is the cry of fresh fish! which greets your arrival on the cell block. Jail is being totally overwhelmed by everything at once, like now. Jail is being tested from the very moment the door locks behind you, having but the vaguest notion of the rules, and the penalty for failure being something you'd rather not think about. Jail is having to make lightning-quick decisions with very little information, and the reliability of that information being completely uncertain. Jail is being trapped in a bad dream that you just don't seem to wake up from. Jail is trying to mind your own business and do your own time, and finding out the world ain't about to leave you alone. Jail is picking a precarious path through an iron jungle of merciless competition without let-up, where anything considered weak invites ruthless exploitation. Jail is endless bullshit from cons and cops alike, everybody playing mind games with your head. Jail is seeking out advice from a veteran con and wondering if he's setting you up for a fall. Jail is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Jail is the weirdest place you've ever been or ever will be. Jail is life stripped down to its bare essentials, raw and undisguised and very, very basic. Jail is the young, the poor, and the powerless, squeezed into a pressure cooker of endless frustration endless anger, and endless aggression, sealed in with a repression which is both external and self-imposed, not only physical and political, but emotional and spiritual as well. Jail is roles that are rigidly defined and strictly enforced, identities that are always clear, but only on the surface. Jail is human beings you would never get to know on the street, the Muslims and the Jesus freaks, the bikers, and the junkies, the psychos, and the killers, the drag queens and the wet packs, the black revolutionaries and the white power Nazis, the reds and the anarchists, the rednecks and the acid heads, the burglars and the stick up boys, the retarded and the old, the bank robbers and the mafiosi, the rapists and the silent ones, your local pimp and that guy that was in the headline for months eating with these people, and sharing showers with them, and sharing cells with them, and sharing contraband and adventures under the sometimes slippery thumb of the state, and sharing thoughts and feelings and passions and histories and sufferings and lives. Jail is gangs and loners, leaders and followers, rebels who wouldn't dream of risking the disapproval of their clique. Jail is a vast, speeded-up soap opera, chock full of drama, violence, sex, passion, gossip, intrigue, loyalty, deception, espionage, romance, comedy, and tragedy, all with endless talk and speculation, with but one major difference. Those actors who get written out of the script may not stand up again after the lights go out. Jail is the absence of females and the grotesque distortions of masculinity that absence engenders. Jail is a rigid and inescapable social-sexual caste system which divides all the world into three classes. On top, the so-called men, the majority which make the deals, run the hustles, push the iron, do all the fighting and stabbing, grimly try to hang on to their manhood while taking it from someone else, terrorize the weak, or just try to survive, and stick their dicks in the other two. Below them, indeed, the queens, 
the much too small group of homos who think feminine and like it, the ladies of the compound. At very bottom, the so-called punks, not rockers these, but boys whose manhood was taken from them, impressed into service as sexual slaves and made to be substitute females for the pleasure of men. Jail's games played for keeps and bullshit erased with blood. Jail is nighttime dreams which take precedence over waking reality. Jail is life in a totalitarian system where everything belongs to the state and that includes your ass. You eat state food with state spoons, write with state pencils on state paper, wash your hands with state soap and dry them on state towels, work for the state, watch a state TV, play with state cards, read what the state decides is good for you, Wear state underwear and state shoes until you slip between state sheets and a state blanket when the state tells you to go to bed and turns off the state light bulb. Jail is a learning experience. Jail is alternating like the war of which it is a microcosm between long stretches of utter boredom and flashes of sheer terror between sheer banality and incredible intensity. Jail is discovering quickly that the only individuality allowed is that which is taken, usually by violating some rule or other. Jail is learning the prisoner's code, much of it making no sense at all, and knowing you have to pass every test because your very life depends on it. Then realizing that only this code makes it possible for the cons to deny to the state that 100% control of your life which it always craves. Jail is realizing that the staff has little more regard for the law than the cons do, and that arbitrariness is a guiding principle of staff decision-making. Jail is breathing the poisoned atmosphere of racism, which divides the conquered and affects every man's relationship to every other, forming a social backdrop which most take for granted and no one can afford to ignore. Jail is working, eating, playing, and sleeping with the same guys all the time, and getting to know people faster and often deeper than you ever did on the street. Jail is appreciating that most human relationships there are weighted with mutual suspicion, shallow, and subject to sudden betrayal. But if you're lucky, you'll find a friend who would fight to the death at your side. Jail is the last stronghold of the peculiar institution untouched by the 13th Amendment. Jail is a form of state-sponsored slavery, which displays all the corrupting effects of slavery on the slaves, their overseers, and ultimately their owners, the public. Jail is a cockpit in which the interaction of the two promotes fear among the keepers and bitter hatred among the kept, cruelty and inhumanity in both. Jail is the exaltation of a single common value for cons and cops alike the virtue of unlimited force, inscribing might makes right in blazing letters above every locked doorway. Jail is an institution sustained and kept in being by the invocation, the threat, and the reality of unlimited violence by the state, forever calling forth unlimited violence to resist it in turn. Jail is an arena whose gladiators are set to combat for the amusement and the profit of the powerful. Jail is a petri dish in which anger multiplies and divides and feeds on itself. Jail is an efficient device for taking non-violent minor offenders and turning them into violent capsules of rage before returning them to the communities from which they were taken. Jail is where the iron will to survive gives way to the body dangling from the sheets. Jail is where time seems frozen while the rest of the world moves on. Jail is where most minds rot, but a few are awakened. Jail is where adults are treated like little kids and discouraged from growing up. Jail is where you never know which of your friends is a snitch for the cops. Jail is where you stand lookout for guys without ever knowing or asking what they're doing. Jail is where most curse the gods, but a few find Jesus. Oh, he's in the next cell, and some ride the Yoga Express to a new freedom. Jail is where sometimes you're locked in for weeks alone, 
with one other guy like in a confessional. And sometimes you're not able to conduct a private conversation with anyone, anywhere, for any reason. Jail is where most of the guys around you are assholes you have to put up with. But a fair number are decent and even righteous human beings. And where through all the betrayals and selfishness, there still shine occasional moments of kindness, warmth, self-sacrifice, and yes, even heroism. Jail is where all you ever hear by way of explanation is, it's necessary for the security, good order, and discipline of the institution. Jail is where it's all being done in their name, but the public just doesn't want to know. Jail is not what you expect. Chapter 2. Jail is a power struggle among the powerless. Jail is everything you own and are, even your very life, being taken away from you and placed in someone else's uncertain hands. Jail is Big Brother always trying to watch you, reading your mail and listening to your phone calls. Jail is lieutenants even boasting to the cons how they can bust anybody they want and shoot them off for a stretch in the hole simply by planting dope in their cell. Jail is the captain blithely telling you that everyone who comes before him for a disciplinary hearing is automatically guilty. Jail is sitting on your bunk listening to the clash on the radio singing police on my back while a cop tears your locker apart looking for something to charge you with like an extra sheet maybe. Jail is not being able to get vitamin C without a prescription. Jail is the mailroom sending your mail back marked released. Well you wonder that nobody writes and your folks wonder where you went. Jail is staff assuring you he sent out the visit request four months ago. Well none of your people ever got any. Jail is congressmen not even bothering to send you form letters and reply to your carefully written complaints. Jail is starving yourself for weeks and burning out your own cell because it's all you can do. Jail is your own ethnic group giving you the silent treatment when you get too friendly with another ethnic group. Jail is the feeling of powerlessness, is the feeling of impotence. It's so utterly unbearable that you desperately seek to take some power back knowing you can only take it from a fellow prisoner. Jail is breaking into the chow line ahead of someone you're testing and a living demonstration of the human pecking order. Jail is fighting in the chow hall, fighting on the yard, fighting in the showers, fighting in the stairwells, fighting in the TV rooms or what channel to watch, fighting in the classrooms and in the workshops and even in the chapel, fighting in the toilets and the dormitories and fighting in the matchbox of your own cell. Jail is trying to pick a fight where the cops will break it up real quick and hopefully before you get stabbed. Jail is sweating out those moments of intensity when you're one-on-one -on -one with a guy who is testing you or playing with your head and you don't know if he really means to fight you or not. Jail is feeling triumph and conquest and power and pride when you finalize victory by publicly taking the loser's manhood from him and getting his cherry for trophy. Chapter 3 Jail is a cage in the zoo. Jail is having less cage space than an armadillo in the city's zoo. Jail is sleeping in a huge dormitory with beds so close on either side that you dare not stretch out your arm and know there are many years for every conversation. Jail is sheets hung from the top bunk, making a tent out of the bottom bunk and signaling to everyone in sight that somebody is getting fucked. Jail is having to start a fight with someone because he sat on your bunk without your permission. Jail is getting used to a tiny room with three walls and bars on the fourth side and calling it your house. Jail is waking yourself up at 4 a.m. just to hear silence for a change. Jail is fixing a snack late at night while trying to ignore your celly taking a shit in the corner. Jail is sizing up your new celly and wondering if he'll try to fuck you or you should try to fuck him or neither or both. Jail is waiting for the flashlight to shine in your face, for the midnight count, or the 3 a.m. count, or the 6 a.m. count, or an unscheduled count, or just because the night cop is nosy or feels like annoying everyone. Jail is running out of shit paper, and the cops refusing to give you any. Jail is waiting for days to get your toilet fixed or your light bulb replaced. Jail is not being able to keep more than five books at a time. Jail is knowing there is no one to help you if your stricken body collapses in the middle of the night in your locked cell. 
Gale is having a drink, meaning cold coffee or warm Kool-Aid. Jail is getting clean sheets every two weeks. Jail is not being allowed to decorate your living space in any way whatsoever. Jail is staring with endless fascination at the birds outside your cell window and wishing you could open it. Chapter 4. Jail is a deflated economy. Jail is a housing program for the poor. Jail is being paid three cents an hour to swab the same stretch of hallway over and over again. Jail is shivering bareheaded in the cold rain waiting in the canteen line for your weekly shopping trip to get coffee and candy and smoke some Cokes. Jail is the company store accepting no complaints and preferring you wouldn't shop there at all. Jail is having to smuggle in a cassette tape because music is contraband on vinyl or tape. Jail is everybody trying to sell you something. You can get sandwiches from the cooks, or your dungarees fixed by the laundry guys, or some writing paper from the clerks, or quicker service from the plumbers, or your radio juiced up to bring in a big city station by the electronics guys, or help in arithmetic from the education assistant, or work on your court case from the jailhouse lawyer, or your clothes washed by the queen down the block, or a real sharp shiv to stick someone with from the metal shop, and also the guys selling dope and the card sharks and the pimps for the queens, and the goons running the protection racket, and the hitmen. Jail is bugging everyone you write to on the street to send you some money. Jail is knowing interest rates are 100% a week, and deadbeats are just that. Jail is gangs warring for control of the dope trade or the punks for hire. Jail is pin joints going for five when available, while ten bucks gets a boy fucked in a century note puts a contract on someone. Jail is setting some of the most ingenious minds of humanity to the problem of getting weed into their cells and finding a place to hide it. Jail is watching the cop shake down your cell from floor to air vent while trying to give no clues as to where your stash is. Jail is getting busted for somebody else's contraband and having to suffer in silence on account of the code. Jail is holding a big party Christmas Day with homemade pineapple wine and imported hashish the whole gang having chipped in by selling their Christmas package goodies. Chapter 5. Jail is Ups. Jail is experiencing small acts of kindness as great treasures. Jail is that DJ you wrote to, dedicating a song to you over the radio. Jail is finally getting your transfer after so many months of waiting. Jail is taking a shower without the phone ringing. Jail is teaching your three cellies to play bridge and having exciting games late into the night. Jail is getting your high school equivalency, or even a college degree. Jail is watching your joint's basketball team beat the pants off a visiting college team. Jail is finding ice cream in the chow hall. Jail is getting real eggs for breakfast instead of the usual powdered ones. Jail is not worrying about the rent. Jail is making a ceramic lion, or a leather jacket, or a watercolor, or a poem. Jail is having a captive audience for your prison band. Jail is getting a zine in the mail with news of your favorite bands. Jail is on a hot day, finding enough ice for a cold soda. Jail is coming out of a fight without having to see the medic or the lieutenant. Jail is a visit from your girlfriend. Jail is the day the canteen finally gets batteries that fit your radio. Jail is the bull you stood up to expecting combat and backs off instead. Jail is friends who smuggle a little care packet into solitary for you or throw you a birthday party and arrange a visit from one of the sweet kids as a present. Jail is the solidarity of 100% observing a food strike. Jail is the freedom to be openly anti-government after years undercover. Jail is a new dude from your own town. Jail is a visiting band or acting troupe. Jail is self-cooked hamburgers just as you like them for the Independence Day picnic out on the yard. Jail is your body in the best shape of your life, working out and pumping iron playing basketball in the gym and running endlessly around the yard, your blood free of junk 
and your muscles bulging to impress everyone. Jail is good herb in the J. Good music on the box. A good look out on the catwalk. And a good cocksucker on his knees. Jail is a book good enough to pick you up and carry you over the wall. Chapter 6. Jail is Downs. Jail is a concentration camp of walking wounded, looking for a Florence Nightingale who never arrives. Jail is asking a 25-year-old if he's still in touch with his high school buddies, and him telling you no, they're all locked up or dead. Jail is getting one package a year at Christmas time, and that one stolen out of your locker the very same day. Jail is arriving at a new joint and finding yourself sleeping on the gym floor because there are no beds open. Jail is being told on arrival in December there are no winter coats left. Jail is the wife and the girlfriend, both arriving in the visiting room at the same time. Jail is wondering what to say to your silly when he learns his younger brother just got killed trying to break into a 7-Eleven store. Jail is not even bothering to complain when you find roaches in the soup. Jail is having no room to keep your woman's letters. Jail is the only way I'll leave here is in a coffin. Jail is trying to get anywhere with a constitutional rights suit. Jail is getting a Dear John letter, which starts, If only you were here. Jail is, You couldn't bust a grape. Jail is having absolutely nothing with which to celebrate New Year's Eve. Jail is denied. Jail is struggling to stay afloat in a massive sea of ignorance. Jail is necessary for the security, good order, and discipline of the institution. Jail is finding that gang rapes and stabbings are normal, but the expression of feeling is not. Jail is realizing just how much difference money makes. Jail is finding the library stacked with rejects, unsold trashy paperbacks donated for tax purposes. Jail is, but your honor, there's no way I can do 20 years. That's okay, son. Just do as much as you can. Next case. Jail is the lights on your switchboard of human contact winking out forever. First in clusters, and then one by one. Chapter 7. Jail is an education. Jail is learning all about crime and death and power in the nitty-gritty real world. Jail is learning how to pick locks and run scams and case houses and rob banks and smuggle dope and buy guns and get over on the world at large. Jail is learning the meaning of patience while forgetting how to run your own life. Jail is finding strength you didn't know you had in you or finally coming to terms with the here and now. Jail is wearing a mask through every waking hour until you've long since forgotten who you really are and hardening your heart till it turns to stone. Jail is learning to control your rage, or rather to postpone it. Jail is, you might give out, but you never give up. Jail is pondering the meaning of sanity in an insane world, with the priceless value of true loyalty when the shit hits the fan. Jail is, what goes around, comes around. Chapter 8. Jail is Boredom. Jail is hanging out on the yard or in the gym with the guys from the other blocks, wandering ever aimlessly around and around your strictly limited pacing zone. Jail is reading the same lousy novel five times over. Jail is knowing the Protestant chaplain will always be a born-again fundamentalist. Jail is finding only country music stations on the radio. Jail is playing your 4,378th game of pool. Jail is not giving a shit about transit strikes, travelers' advisories, ocean temperatures, the cost of record albums, the state of the economy, or World War III. Jail is scraping paint off the walls to see if you can get hung off it. Jail is knowing your job could be done just as well by a trained chimpanzee. Jail is dreading the weekends because there's nothing to do. Jail is nobody else can do your time for you. 
Jail is getting so bored making love to your fist that you do almost anything for a warm body. Jail is being able to predict the chow hall menu weeks in advance. Jail is necessary for the security, good order, and discipline of the institution. Jail is getting so tired of the same shit day after day that you want to scream to the rafters. Chapter 9. Jail is the Valley of Death. Jail is the first thing you want to know about the new joint being the number of killings it had last year. Jail is knowing any food tray can be poisoned. Jail is going to have to take him off the count. Jail is everybody having a shiv to stick you with. Jail is never daring to show your fear, knowing deep inside you just don't stand a chance. Jail is stabbing someone over a ten dollar debt. Jail is stuffing the kitchen oven with a particularly hated pig. Jail is ten seconds in the kitchen and the cook being deader than the veggies he was dicing. Jail is watching a good kid get knifed and knowing you can't let yourself get involved. Jail is finding sometimes it's tough to live by the code when your buddy ain't living anymore on account of it. Jail is waiting and watching helplessly as your cellmate dies of two heart attacks a few hours apart because the night shift cop won't send for a medic. Jail is fire and smoke arriving before the turnkey. Jail is being told of your father's death a week after the funeral with the explanation that the staff couldn't locate you. Jail is running straight into a hail of gunfire at the wall because it's an honorable way out. Chapter 10 Jail is longing. Jail is recurring thoughts of escape, toying with the daydreams of fantasy, or wrestling desperately with the obstacles of a deadly reality. Jail is trying to remember what it's like to touch a tree or feel the waves hit your chest. Jail is being separated from your beloved by a sheet of clear plastic and a phone in the visit room. Jail is hating holidays because they make you so depressed. Jail is your children growing up without a father. Jail is a lock of your girlfriend's hair being classed as contraband. Jail is seeing your only friend get transferred on a half hour's notice. Jail's mail call being the high point of the day for some and a Chinese water torture for most. Jail is never being able to see the stars at night. Jail is thinking you'd give your right nut for a pet you could stroke. Jail is missing the funeral because you can't afford the escort fees. Jail is going for months or even years watching other guys get visits, but never one for you. Jail is having nowhere, nowhere at all, where you can go and just cry. Jail is going out on the nearly deserted yard early of a Sunday morn, just to listen to the birds and the crickets and the distant bang of dogs. Chapter 11 Jail is Keepers Jail is being treated like an animal till you start snarling like one. Jail is the moment of panic when you got the lookout and the cop comes striding down the catwalk towards you. Jail is the screw's gloved finger stuck up your ass looking for contraband. Jail is the ex-marine drill sergeants who think they should run the block like a gyrene boot camp. Jail is the rookie cop who thinks he's finally got a chance to be Mr. Big. Jail is the fat old cop who hates climbing stairs thereby moving all parties up to the fifth tier. Jail is the cool black cop who does his best to ignore the smell of reefer and caught you one time fucking your punk and didn't write you up for it. Jail is the dikey pig that hates men and tries to bust as many guys as she possibly can. Jail is the cop that writes you up for having a radio antenna longer than the regulations allowed. Jail is the young cops that tell you they can't wait to find another job. 
Jail is the pig that hates your guts and tries to keep you out of the gym and comes up to you after you complain to the front office staff about him and pokes his stubby finger in your face and says, I'm going to get you one of these days. Jail is the good-looking lady cop that left you speechless by telling you she marched in a gay pride parade. Jail is the cop from your own school who's more embarrassed to be there than you are. It's the captain who throws a fresh punk to the most violent cell block in order to keep it quiet, figuring all that pent-up aggression will be taken out on the kid. Jail is the constant cat-and-mouse guessing game, you wondering how much they know, and they wondering about what they don't know. Jail is the knowledge in every screw's head that in case of a riot he could be captured and fucked. Jail is the only difference between the cons around you and the cops, who push the dope, pimp the queens, thieve from the cells and the stockrooms, work over the handcuffed and shackled cons in the hole, and set the kids up for rape is that they haven't been caught yet. Chapter 12. Jail is the Hole. Jail is solitary confinement, administrative segregation, protective custody, adjustment center, transit holdover, control unit, disciplinary detention, full lockdown, the prison's own jail, by any other name, the Hole. Jail is waiting for the uniformed goon squad to arrive. Jail is sleeping on a cold floor without sheet, blanket, or pillow. Jail is being separated from your address list and your stamps. Jail is not having the foggiest notion why the lieutenant locked you up. Jail is being told you can't have a radio or a pencil because they could be used as weapons to hurt yourself with. Jail is not being able to ask questions, much less get answers. Jail is facing kangaroo courts who never waste time deciding your guilt on whatever you got written up for, whose only real function is deciding how long you'll be in the hole, how much good time you'll lose, and how to look to the parole board next time. Jail is discovering 101 things to do with toilet paper, or wishing they'd give you some. Jail is listening to your stomach growl all night long because the day shift forgot to feed you. Jail is getting someone else's medication by mistake and still having to take it, though you point out the error. Jail is getting your weekly five-minute shower before your exercise period instead of afterwards. Jail is wondering if the screw will send out your mail or throw it out. Jail is shivering with the air conditioning turned up in January or sweltering with the heat on in July. Jail is trying to ignore the guys who all night long are screaming, crying, singing, preaching, ranting, and raving. Jail is keeping a family of pet cockroaches for company. Jail is jerking off five times a day because it's something to do. Jail is not seeing the sun for month after month. Jail is hollering all day long that you haven't been let out for exercise since last Tuesday and being told you can't go out today because the morning shift put an entry in the logbook saying you refused to exercise. Jail is being told you can't have more than three Christmas cards in your cell. Jail is Necessary for the security, good order, and discipline of the institution. Jail is finding your cell light gets switched off every time you try to read at night. Jail is finally getting all the way through War and Peace, or Moby Dick. Jail is reading the weirdest books, because that's all there is left in the hole to read, like everything you didn't want to know about ancient Egyptian pottery, or gothic romances with dark mansions and breathless heroines, or how to invest your next million or how to raise tulips for the weekend market, or the collected speeches of Lyndon B. Johnson, or why the Germans will win the Second Great War if America doesn't come in on the side of England soon. Jail is writing out a novel only to have the manuscript disappear while you're out getting your exercise. Jail is not having any way to tell time, and thus missing the medic because you're still asleep when he sticks his neck into the seg unit at 7.30 in the morning. Jail's passing long notes to the guy in the next cell over, or longing for anyone, even an enemy, to talk to. Jail is the guy coming back from a lawyer's visit out loose on the fifth-tier catwalk, pissing in long arcs on the poor dudes taking exercise on the ground floor. Jail is counting the holes in the ceiling plaster for the 400th time. Jail is having no idea when you'll ever get back in population. Jail is thinking, thinking, and more thinking. 
feel like discovering for the first time in your life what it means to be really alone. Feel like coming face to face with the real you while on long stretches of solitary. Jail is realizing how much you depend on fill in the blank. Jail is knowing you'll never again see the stuff you loaned out on the compound because you're getting shipped somewhere else. Jail is deciding there's no longer any point in trying to remain sane. Jail is wondering if hell could be like this and realizing you're already in hell. Chapter 13 Jail is Sexuality. Jail is the kingdom of Priapus, god of the hard dick. Jail is being unbearably horny and bored all day and all night long, day after day after day. Jail is getting a roaring heart on every time the warden secretary floats by in a cloud of perfume. Jail is wanting to jerk off so bad it hurts, but nowhere to do it in private. Jail is thinking you'll be old before you ever feel real pussy again. Jail is feeling empty when your girlfriend stops coming to see you. The winners. Jail is human beings who are male, who are called men, who are also called winners. Jail is wondering anxiously if you can take a shower without having to fight for your manhood. Jail is feeling the racing adrenaline high when you're challenged and you use your street fighting experience to successfully defend it. Jail is knowing other men are getting their dicks sucked or fucking assholes and wondering what it's like. Jail is waking up with a heart on and staring at your sleeping cellmate's ass. Jail is the guys you hang with telling you how good this sissy is at sucking dick and asking why you don't join in and get some head like the other men. Jail is knowing that if you don't fuck some boy, some boy will try to fuck you. Jail is deciding you're not going to let the state take away your sexuality, your ability to act as a male. Jail is going for months without sex, and then the moment at last of total relief, when you finally shoot your balls dry into a warm human body. Jail is opening up your eyes after dreaming a tremendous orgasm with your girl, and realizing it was a boy you shot your load into. Jail is gazing intently at Miss September while the boy sucks your dick. Jail is realizing your cock can't tell the difference between a girl's tongue and a boy's tongue. Jail is feeling heady with power reclaimed and manhood confirmed when you make a punk suck your dick all the way down to the root. Jail is wondering if a queen's ass is worth a carton of smokes to you. Jail is wondering what your woman back home would think of your jailhouse sex life, or if she'll ever ask, or what you'd answer. Jail is not being able to talk to anyone about your sexual feelings. Jail is feeling heavy guilt because you've been told that fucking boys offends the Lord, but robbing or shooting people doesn't bother you. Jail is calling asshole pussy until you begin to believe it. Jail is waking up from dreaming for the first time about fucking a sweet kid. Jail is not daring to think about what you're feeling. Jail is knowing there are never enough queens and punks to go around and realizing the various implications of that fact. Jail is existing largely without touch, except for brief instances of combat or sports or sex and without tenderness except for some stolen moments of sexual contact. Jail is calling all the queens girls and using their drag names and female pronouns and whistling at them as they promenade around the yard. Jail is planning sex for weeks and consummating it in 15 seconds of concentrated intensity. Jail is hating queers and fucking boys at every opportunity. Jail is copying a quick blowjob in a cramped toilet stall, listening for the cop's keys. Jail is making it in broom closets, under bunks, behind washing machines, between library stacks, in the showers, in the cells, in the open dorms, in private, with a lookout watching you as well, with everyone watching. Jail is watching a bunch of college freshmen playing juvenile delinquents in scenes from West Side Story 
while their bright, unscarred white faces beam with delight to be playing to an audience of prisoners, and the dude next to you turning to say, If those punks ever got locked up, every fucking one of them would have a big black dick up his ass in no time. Jail is making bets on the fresh fish who came in today. How many days till he gets his cherry busted? And who'll end up owning him? Jail is wondering if you'll get a chance at that same kid before some tough jocker puts a claim on him. I'm wondering how you'd feel afterwards. Jail is raping a boy because you're strong and cold enough. And it shows everybody you're tough and they better not get in your way. It makes up for a lot of shit you've had to put up with. And it gives you power. It makes your dick feel good. And it's exciting and you're bored. Jail is arranging for the lookouts, knowing they'll expect a piece of the action, too. Jail is shit on my dick or blood on my blade. Jail is gloating over the look in a boy's eyes. And he's made to suck his first dick. Jail's lining up with the other wolves to get a free shot at some pussy that was virgin still a few minutes ago. And not minding the blood, because it's all part of the initiation ritual for a new punk. Jail is seeing the staff counselor, rubbing his hands with glee as he assigns a suicidal rape victim to share a cell with a brutally famous booty bandit. Jail is not wanting to look into the eyes of a newly turned out punk. Jail is hearing from all the other men that a punk is weak and contemptible and has nobody to blame for losing his manhood but himself. I'm telling it to yourself until you begin to believe it. Jail is realizing you're so lonely you need to get a sissy or a punk of your own instead of paying for it or borrowing your friend's kit or joining in at the end of a wolf line. Jail is looking around for someone to share a long sentence with you. Jail is wondering if that sweet could could be yours instead of gang property and whether you're willing to assume the obligation to fight to protect him once he's yours. Jail is figuring out if the best way to get yourself a kid is to buy him off someone, fight his man for him, or turn out a fresh punk. Jail is sizing up the guys on the block to see who might be weak enough to be turned out by you. Jail is feeling like a king after turning out a cute kid and hating yourself for it at the same time. Jail is outmaneuvering your many rivals in the complex, pressure-laden courtship of a newly unattached fuckboy. Jail is savoring the exaltation and the keen anticipation when you finally get a kid to be your very own punk. Jail is laying down the law to your punk on how you want your clothes washed and ironed, your bed made, your cell cleaned, your shoes shined, your coffee served. Jail's kicking out your celly so you can move your kid in with you. Jail is seeing your status rise on the block because you got your own punk now. Jail is relaxing while high off some good smoke and stretched out on top of a sweet kid you like and who now belongs to you. Your flesh still inside him and your balls drained. Enjoying the warmth of a human body under you and feeling like you're just on top of the world. Jail's being secure enough from the control of your kid and in your own sharply etched masculine role, to let drop the hard mask and acknowledge with him your own fears, doubts, anxieties, and uncertainties. Jail is pimping out your boy and trying to suppress your jealousy. Jail is loaning your punk out to your buddies and thereby cementing your leadership status. Jail is forming a partnership with your kid and sharing everything with him. The fake winners. Jail is human beings who want to be female, who are called queens, who call themselves winners, though nobody else does. Jail is being the only queen on the cell block, and knowing that a hundred horny young studs get hard just watching you sashay on down the catwalk in your home-sewn hot pass. Jail is smuggling in black lace panties and ladies' perfume. Jail is having all the meat you can eat. Jail is knowing where all the dope is on the compound. Jail is earning more from one trick than a month's prison labor. Jail is finding a measure of happiness with a good and decent man. Jail is looking down at the punks for being losers and basically sharing your lot without claiming they want to. Jail is being told you can only work in the prison laundry. Jail is everyone wanting to go up in you, but nobody wanting to eat with you in the chow hall. Jail is being segregated in the queen's tank of the local jail 24 hours a day. Jail is being assigned a paranoid homo-hater as your cellmate. 
jails cops hassling you all the time and trying to send you to the hole whenever possible. Jails being everybody's favorite scapegoat. Jail seeing staff transfer your husband just to keep you apart from the man you love. The losers. Jail is being young and small and without friends or serious combat ability or experience with jail life and nervous as you've ever been in your life on your first night in the cell block. Seeing the hungry wolf looks in their eyes and trying not to show how badly you're trembling. Jail is being trapped in the shower by a gang of flashing knives. Jail is walking around a corner when a blanket is suddenly thrown over your head and you're dragged off into a storeroom. Jail is waking up with a knife under your throat and a heavy body pressing you into the mattress and a blunt object poking at your virgin asshole. Jail is having to choose between tasting your own blood or their sperm and ending up with both. Jail is wondering if there will ever again come a time when it doesn't feel like you have a glowing hot poker rammed up your ass. Jail is trying uncontrollably to puke every time another cock gets rammed down your throat, but your stomach long since empty of everything but uncounted loads of other males come stickily coating your throat and tongue. Jail is lying dazed, exhausted, and utterly defeated, face up at last on the hard tile floor of the shower room, your ass torn inside and bleeding, throbbing with unbearable agony and having to watch while one after another of a seemingly endless processions of males stands over you for a moment and pisses all over your naked body and then orders you to open your mouth and directs a hot stream of piss straight into your face. Jail's hanging yourself in your cell because you believe them when they tell you you've lost your manhood and can never get it back again. Jail's finding the iron will to survive deep inside to someday get even with the world. Jail's checking into protective custody and getting raped in the exercise room. Jail's always feeling the shame, the humiliation, the publicly exposed vulnerability, the devastating insecurity, the worthlessness, the buried rage. Jail's being called a punk everywhere you go on the compound, your reputation spreading like wildfire before you, even preceding your arrival when you succeed in getting transferred. Jail is being totally astonished when the bandit who with two of his buddies knocked you down and raped you yesterday shows up today with reefer and gifts from the canteen and tells you he's in love with you. Jail is trying to sort out the feelings of relief and dread when having been used as a sperm depository for everybody in the gang, you find yourself claimed by a powerful and generally feared man knowing he'll protect you and knowing the price. Jail is being suddenly respected because your man is respected and you belong to him. Jail is realizing it doesn't hurt anymore when you get fucked. Jail is feeling grateful for your man's protective shield. Jail is being handed over to a new jocker because your man lost you in a card game. Jail is dreaming about wonderful women at night while giving up head and tail before you go to sleep. Jail is wondering if this is how your gal felt when she was with you. Jail's discovering that the tough con who owns you wants to treat you tenderly, but will only do so if you accept his role in yours and never confuse them. Jail is turning tricks when your man tells you to, being ever at his beck and call, getting high every weekend and having all the canteen goods you can use, sometimes switching out with another punk or paying to fuck one of the queens and contemplating what jailhouse life has done to you. Jail is learning that your man really cares about you and is the only soul in the whole damn prison who does. Jail is missing your man with a sudden ache when he leaves and you're claimed by a pimp from the street who thinks of you only as an income producer. Jail is freeing yourself from the pimp with a razor blade to the jugular noting the bored tones of the judge's voice as he gives you life for it. The real winners. Jail is human beings who may be called many things, but who need and care about each other. Jail is a pair you know who got busted and sent to the hole because they fell asleep in each other's arms. Jail is the icy, tough hardened con who went berserk when his punk got hurt and ended up in the infirmary with him. 
Jail is the grand celebration by the whole block after the imitation ceremony in the chapel on the day a lifer got married to his queen. Dale is the man who keeps forgetting that his queen isn't a biological female. Dale is the punk nobody thought could fight who came to his man's rescue and killed one of his man's attackers with a shiv nobody knew he had. Dale is the jacker who punched out the lieutenant in order to delay his own release until he could see his punk safely back on the street again. Dale is the feeling you have which you won't quite admit could be love, but which deep in your guts you know couldn't be anything else. Jail is those precious, priceless moments when you and your partner cling to each other in the dark, trying to shut out the cold world of cruelty around you. Jail is the dawning realization that in the end, the physical pleasure and sense of relief just don't count. The gender of your partner just doesn't count. But the warm touch of another human being you care about that makes all the difference in the world. Chapter 14 Jail is a place to leave. Jail is vowed to get even with the world. Jail is sitting in your cell before trial, wondering where they'll send your ass, when suddenly the screw comes by with his keys out and says, You there! They just dropped your case. Now hurry up and get out of here before my coffee gets cold. Jail is the first and last months are the hardest. Jail is being told in pre-release class how to board a bus or find a hospital or what a barcode is doing on a can of beans. Jail is being in for so long that you're afraid to go back out on the street. Jail is trying to figure out what the hell you can do for a legal living when you've got a record going everywhere you do. Jail is wondering what women are really like as you get ready for the real world at the age of 24 after being locked up since you were 15. Jail is leaving more antisocial by far than when you came in. Jail is being solemnly told that your parole conditions prohibit you from associating with anyone convicted of a crime, having been forced to spend 10 years doing nothing but that, and that if you violate this condition, you may be sent back to prison. Jail is seeing the look on your lady's face when she sees you walk out the front door at long last. Jail is said to be necessary for the security, good order, and discipline of society.